I remade every mob better in Minecraft. I'll start by making one of Minecraft's most useless mobs better, the bat. Let's remove those bat ears. We can do a lot better. And this will be the start of the face with some bright green eyes and a purple snout. Let's go ahead and give it a mouthful of fangs too. And now for the ears. Look at these tiny little ones. Time to turn them long and awesome. To make this bat truly better though, we're going to need to give it a big and strong body with some clawed feet and a cool looking tail. Now for the wings. These little wings are not gonna fly. Get it? fly. And I'm gonna make an awesome bat wing texture too. Turn it all purple and gray, then start going crazy on the shading. I went ahead and added some claws here and some there. But with some final details, I think our new and improved bat is just about ready. Let's see how it looks in Minecraft. This bat looks more like a dragon or a flying gargoyle than a bat, which of course is 100% intended. So far, our bat appears friendly. Wait, no, not friendly. I like what in the world was that? He's got a sonic boom. He can track us with and blast us away. Ooh, that chicken just went sign-r. I better get some distance. Ooh, one shot wonder. Did I lose him? No, I picked him up. We got the bat wings. And now we can fly. Yay! All right, the bat is definitely better at flying than me. But we don't need to fly in order to experience the benefits of having bat vision. We can highlight every mob within range, even the chicken we can see through the blocks. That might come in handy if we create any more monstrosities. Now, the Ender Dragon is probably the coolest mob in Minecraft, but I'll make it even better. We're going to make it the best mob ever. From the horns to the wings, the dragon will get a total redesign. Even these feet are getting totally remade with awesome dragon claws. I also am going to give it spines just like this. Now, time to get to work with these better wings. I also find the dragon colors pretty boring, so let's give it purple scales. And these magical spikes. I was not joking about the wings. Just look at this. The white and bright purple designs are really making it all come together nicely. And the eyes, they are popping for my last plan. I'll duplicate the heads and turn it into a five-headed dragon. I don't think I've ever spent this long making a mob, but it turned out insane. Let's see how it looks in game. The heads make this guy look fierce and the wings actually look like legitimate super dragon wings. Mechanically, the ender dragon's should behave roughly the same minus, as you can see, the bolts of obsidian raining down from the sky, which if they hit you, bad place to be. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this. Get off the block. Get off the block. He's recharging when the rain hits him. Oh no. I created an unkillable beast. There is one solution. Just bring in loads of bats. Oh no, but the bats turned on me. They've teamed up. I gave the ender dragon an army. I need to come up with a plan. I need to escape quickly as fast as possible. Now it's time to make the iron golem better by turning it into a cyberpunk golem. And to do that, we'll need to give it robot arms. Then paint the whole thing gray like a robot and some pieces coming off of it are going to be like metallic panels too. I wasn't quite satisfied with the gray I was using, so I went this color instead and then powered it with a bright blue energy core. Plop in some eyes like this, then texture in that big ol' iron golem nose. I thought it would be cool to give it this Tesla coil backpack because, well, heh, why not? And with some metallic spikes here and there, I think our futuristic iron golem has gotten quite a bit better. But let's see how much we really like it in game. The better iron golem looks so futuristic and the detailing turned out perfectly. The only thing we have to be aware of is that he doesn't turn on us. That would go poorly. Probably not as poorly as the end dragon. That guy, I don't even want to think about it. Before any of this is possible, we're going to have to activate the core. Just give it a little spark to get our iron golem going. And he's active. Maybe five, six, or seven of these creepers will do the job. Now, feel the threat and fight back. Perhaps the creepers don't pose enough of a threat to our golem. Let's see how he deals with some better bats. The bats have turned on the creepers and our golem still is not doing anything. Our buddy's a pacifist. That was unintentional. But given how strong you look, that might be the best option. Though, of course, we're gonna have to dock you points for lack of violence. That's never the best outcome. Let's make the villager better by turning it into a hero villager. To be a hero, he needs to have the clothes of a warrior and every warrior needs armor. Being a villager though, emerald armor is perfect. I gave it a mask like this, but not even that can cover that giant nose. Back to the emerald 
clothes. Let's give him a sparkly belt and some much shinier armor. Super duper shiny. Now for the best part, the sword. Of course, I had to make the villager sword emerald as well. That is perfection. Let's see how he looks in Minecraft. This is a perfect place to set down our better villagers, right? Of course, any good villager needs a little incentive. We gotta come up with 64 emeralds. That's gonna take forever. Unless I finagle the system slightly. All right, I got your emeralds and we can give you hero training or you give me hero training. One of us is getting hero training. Bam, Blamsky, got it. And it looks like I paid for you to get hero training. Not a bad person. Purchase. And he's fully armored as well. This guy is taking the defense of the village very seriously, minus not bothering with the bats. Don't get me wrong, it's great to see everybody get along, but it's making me a tad bit nervous. Every single mob we've created is teaming up together on me, developing one massive army, plotting to take me down, and I won't let it happen. Time to make one of the worst nether mobs better, the magma cube. Instead of just being a cube, I want the entire front of it to be a giant mouth, and that mouth will be completely magma made of lava. So we'll get to color it super bright orange. That is looking fire. Now with the mouth done, let's give it a lava tongue and some spikes. But to give it layers, I wanted to make them out of stone like this. Then build out some sharp spikes too. Now that is a much better magma cube. Let's see it in Minecraft. Let's get our better magma cube a beautiful home next to some lava. He looks way better in game than he did in the modeling phase. The solid magma foundation. And there he goes, bouncing, turning everything into dangerous magma underneath. You, my friend, are my hope against the army that I've sort of created and built and has decided to turn against me. These pigs and sheep are just barely far enough away from our massive cube to stay out of the threat of the vacuum formation. Oh, he got one right there and he's getting bigger. We could go right under. He's bigger than us. Oh no, I'm lost. I gotta get out of here. We're gonna leave this magma cube to grow in size, to become stronger and stronger. And you will fight on our behalf, hopefully. As long as you don't turn on us, you get a nine out of 10. Let's make a better evoker by turning it into a necromancer. Let's remove the head real quick, ouch, and give it some bright green eyes. The black and gold robes are cool, but I think we can do better. And I don't know why, but I gave it these really creepy fingers. This is already looking super cool, but we aren't done yet. Let's give it an evil spiked crown and a flowing crimson cape. I also put a small, golden ring on his finger. And now let's reposition this arm and put a magical staff in his hand. He's going to be controlling the dead. So here's a skull on top. Yeah, that is one mean looking evoker. Let's see it in game. That is one necromancer. Look at the green eyes. This guy is absolutely possessed. Now I do want to join you in your necromancy experience the magic, if you will, but I don't want to be targeted. So I'm just going to give some villagers here and you go ahead and perform your necromancy on anything other than me, pretty please. And right away, the villagers are behaving funny as one of them goes down and actually is raised from the dead. This villager over here got knocked and turned and now he's attacking me? Oh no. Oh, every villager is slowly being turned to the dark side. Run as fast as you can. Get away from this place. Go, 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 go. I'm not gonna make it. We turned to this perfect beach, a place to gather sunlight and roast yourself for a beautiful tan into a place of utter destruction thanks to the evil wizard our necromancer he turned out perfect 10 out of 10 i've gotten bored of the blaze let's make it better as a new and improved soul blaze let's move these blaze rods they definitely aren't going to be good enough for what we're going for start from scratch with this blaze head and turn this base into a mouth with fiery teeth and attach this new head to a floating body like the wither we'll give the body a rib cage now for the soul part let's redo these blaze rods and recolor the blaze to be black and blue with the soul sand texture on it. These blaze rod diamonds look super cool too. To give more oomph, to the blaze. I gave it floating hands like this. Top it off with a soul fire look and this blaze is definitely looking better. Let's check it out in Minecraft. Look at the face and the mouth and the teeth on this thing. He's a flame to be feared and fear him we're about to see. We're going to use this magnificent blaze to retake our serene beach and turn it back into the paradise it once was. The villagers are chasing me down. They cannot leave me alone oh, but our blaze is going to work behind us and burning them. And three of them, sayonara. Though we have one small problem, and it's because I tried to make our blaze 
he's sneaky. If I look at him, he goes invisible and we can no longer see him. But before we can do anything, our Blaze decided to take it upon himself. He charged towards everybody and we actually may be able to help our Blaze out. If we can keep him invisible the entire time, nobody will be able to see him coming. Just chase him down, keep him invisible. Nobody sees him and then let him loose. Burn everything. Retake the beach. Wait, no, our Blaze is not taking down our Necromancer. I've gone full destructive mode and they've gone full destructive mode on me. This is not good. Let's improve the weirdest ocean mob. Time to make the guardian better. I started by giving it these long horns with all these different growths. Now, time to build out the body to have all these different sections. I know what it needs now. Teeth. Really sharp teeth. Now, to recolor this brown and purple, that's much better. It's gonna be in the ocean, so it'll need some new fins. Here are some bigger ones on the side, like this. For just a little bit more detail, I decided to add some coral textures too. Almost like it's been at the bottom of the ocean way too long. Oh yeah, that new guardian is great, but I wonder how it's gonna look in game. I have taken some minor precautions. So far, things have gone poorly, but we've got our better guardian who looks so sweet. You, my friend, are adorable. Let's see if we can strategically lead this guardian out of the water towards the shore and take him on in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So far, going poorly yet again. I really gotta step my game up. He's currently hiding in the shipwreck, forcing us back into the water, not letting us stay on land where I feel safe. We have to... Oh, I need oxygen. I'm going back down. This is it. The end of you, buddy. Couple wax, and you're gonna be done. Ooh, we got him. Finally, we come out on top and we've obtained his guardian crystal which apparently only works for the guardian which makes it less of a victory than i anticipated because this crystal is useless a drowned is just a boring water zombie let's make it better it doesn't look decayed enough so let's distort the body to fix it this messed up jaw is going to be perfect for our better drowned and they aren't seeing barbers underwater let's make the hair long i like to think of drowns as dead pirates so here's your hat captain now for the body i added some ribs like this and an arm like that then gave him a super deadly sword. To make it even better, I added some moss growing all over it. The best part now, this drowned will have a little parrot buddy, and this pirate parrot will also have a hat. Now, let's see what this sunken sailor looks like in the actual ocean. Our drowned has moved into the ship after we've cleared it of the guardian, and this guy looks like he's been hanging around for quite a while. Hate to tell you, but you're probably gonna be here for a while longer. As of course, I put you out of your misery. I don't feel good about this. We just gotta take this guy out completely. Knock him down entirely. He's become completely invulnerable. We can't even scratch him anymore. No wonder this guy has been living on the shipwreck for thousands of years, watching his ship decay. Anytime anybody's ever come along to try and put a peaceful end to his existence, he insists on living longer. There's only one thing we can do. Leave him to his somewhat peaceful existence. Let's make a better piglin brute. To make it a real brute, we'll need to give it a beefier body and build out that head to be more pig shaped. For the eyebrows, I went with a real angry look and added some much better tusks on top. I plopped on some big old ears and gave this big guy a belly button. This brute is gonna need some muscles. I want these piglins to be fierce, so here are some feet claws. All piglins love gold, so let's give him some. Now, for a fresh new hairstyle, the hog mohawk. With the final details all complete, our piglin brute is ready to go. Let's see this guy get to battle. We've got our brute the perfect home. The massive piglin brute. Now look, our piglins have been attracted to the brute. He's their leader. He's gonna lead them to peace. Hopefully some peace. Finally, our brute just wants to find gold. He will chase it around and break out those gold ingots, which we can then follow behind and pick up right behind him. Go ahead, come this way. Oh, he saw some gold over there. He's going for that first. Munch it down, buddy. He's so greedy. He will jump across the lava to get to this nether gold. And now he's headed this direction right into our trap. Gold, gold, gold. I think he figured out the situation. He looks pretty angry at his predicament. We'll leave him to figure it out all on his own. Now for the fox. They might be cute, but we can do better. I want to make a more realistic looking fox. So let's give it a more accurate snout. And now the eyes. 
eyes. Not like that, it's not a spider. There we go, that's better. These whiskers have got to be looking fresh and the ears pointy. Now for that coat, foxes have almost a mane of white fur, so I gave it one. And also some little paws, just like this. For the tail, I made sure it was big and fluffy with a white gradient. And now that fox is complete. Let's see how much better it looks in Minecraft. That fox is an incredible improvement. And those ears on top, this guy could hear anything from a mile away. I could run all the way over this direction and he'd be able to track me down. Let's give him a diamond sword. It looks like he just wants the seeds. Our fox is gonna go plant a forest and save the world. Maybe our new guy will take our sword. A fox with a diamond sword in its mouth is not a fox you want to mess with, which is exactly why we are going to return to our village. Bring in our fox and give him a diamond sword. And now our fox can take down all of the army and we can have our vengeance. Looks like he's going towards the golem first. Oh, no, he stopped along the way. He's looking at me. Why are you looking at me? The bats are over here. Take the bats down. Maybe he can't reach the bats. How about the villager? Take down the villager. The villager hasn't really done a whole lot to hurt us, but everybody's got to go. The entire army needs to be taken down. And our fox is doing nothing. They've communicated. He's joined their ranks. Every creation has turned against us. Oh, I love making me some mobs. And if you want some more insane mobs in your world, download Gobs of Mobs in the Minecraft Marketplace right now.